guys, I want to add that this is the most dominant, most winningest chassis that Honda's ever had that is in the history of motocross ever. Ricky Carmichael won 24 of 24 motos when undefeated in the 2002 AMA National Championship Series on this same series frame with the 252 stroke motor. Now take that motor and add another 50% torque and uh, 20 horsepower, and that's what you're looking at right here. And this thing's an absolute moto weapon. Uh, if you can't hole shot on this thing, Look in the mirror, you effed up. If you don't win, you just didn't twist the throttle enough because this thing is entirely capable of winning at any level today, especially on a sand track with Southwick with a long uphill start straight. You roll off the gate in third gear and just roll the throttle on and you're gone. They're an absolute joy to ride, easy to maintain. This top end on this bike, you can do a top end in about two hours on one of these. It's pissed in rings, just like any other two stroke. This is a forever bike. You'll never need another bike. If you want to, this is a trophy bike. It probably shouldn't be ridden. It probably should be on display in a museum, our museum here, or in your private museum, but, or on display somewhere. But if you're gonna ride it, this could very well be the last dirt bike you ever need to buy. Uh, the Olin suspension is completely rebuildable. You can send it to Coppersmith and have it valve or sprung for your weight or your tracks. Um, if you change to off-road, uh, to motocross or supercross, everything is modifiable. Uh, as the settings on the suspension, and you're never going to need more power than this because this is the best two stroke motor, 500cc big board motor ever made. And it, right out of the box, without the mods this has, without the pipe and the, and the um, tuning this has had, this bike will put down 20 plus percent more torque than a new 450 and one horsepower more. Proven on the dyno time and time again. So, and that's a bone stock 500. Don't miss your chance to win a brand new 2022 Honda CRF 450 Works Edition for 10 bucks. Go to www.kaplancycles.com. Buy your ticket today. What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this absolutely stunning beauty. This is a genuine service Honda built by AJ Wagoner himself. This is a 2001 model. We hunted this bike for a couple years. It was actually owned by a private collector down south who bought this brand new from AJ and never rode it. It was in his private museum display. He had an airplane hangar on one of those airstrips where your house lives on the airstrip and he was a aficionado of, of fine motorcycles like this and this is a no expense spared build. To duplicate this bike today would be well north of $30,000. A new AF is, is north of 21000 depending on options uh, that can go up from there. This one's loaded with every option you could ever possibly think of getting for this bike and some of the items on this bike are now on obtainium. Uh, starting with the, the base build, it's a 2001 CR, if you zoom in right here, CR500R right there. It's got the actual tag uh, 8 of, of 2000, which is kind of unique. I've never, I don't think you'll ever see one of those again. Uh, that's, that's from Service Honda themselves. AJ built this bike and it is absolutely stunning had zero hours on, to, on it until bike week of last year. We were trying to buy this bike along with a collection of bikes. He sold it, he ended up breaking up the collection because he wanted full retail and he sold this to a young man who I did the video with down at bike week. This bike was only ever ridden at Daytona, at Daytona Vintage Day last year. And then this year I rode it around the pits. I never took it off the, off the tar. It had 2.8 hours on it. The, the, it has 4.3. All of the mileage I've been put on it has been up and down the driveway here or at Daytona riding around the pits. It absolutely is the best of everything starting at the front of the bike. There's close to $5,000 in upgrades right here just from, from the, the, the handlebars down. Starting at the top, it's got the Renthal twin wall bars. It's got the ODI grips. It has a pro circuit, quick adjust clutch lever. It has the original OEM throttle with a billet tube. The triple clamps, if you zoom in closely, you can see those are the pro circuit triple clamps with the risers, and of course, obviously, a full set of Olin's suspension on this bike. The hub is a Talon. top of the line talent hub with a Takasaga XL rim, and if you zoom in closely, you can see it has a carbon fiber front disc brake rotor, which is something I've never, I've never seen one on a CR500, but definitely reduces the unsprung, rate, unsprung weight. Heading to the, the, the real magic of the bike, the engine is a brand new, AJ didn't, doesn't use any 
used components. This is, this is not a backyard build, this is a service Honda built with all brand new components. And right out of the box, they put a pro circuit. This is another piece of unobtainium. These are unavailable. I've never seen one on a CR500. It was a limited production run of pro circuit works, pipes. Spe special batch. Special batch that was for done the AFs, for, for the AFs. The AJ had a, has a relationship with pro circuit. He got that done. Uh, the carburetor has, has the PWK, the Keehan carburetor has a recluse clutch cover. This is an OEM clutch in here. And you can see the motor is in brand new condition as you'd expect a bike that has four hours riding around the pits on. It has an aluminum works connection uh, protector on the water pump. It has a t the titanium pro circuit foot pegs, which are uh, really nice to have. That's about as good as it gets. And of course, it's got the complimenting matching Olin shock, which is actually unobtainium. You can't order that shock from Olin's anymore. They don't make it. So full Olin's kit suspension front and rear. The back of the bike has a matching talent hub. Hey, I wanted to add, Olin's only produces a product for as long as there's demand. So three years in, they no longer made this uh, suspension uh, for the chassis. Discontinued. This set's essentially an old stock. It's a brand new set on the bike. The bike was never ridden. 2001 was a high water mark for Honda two strokes. The 2001 CR250 was widely known as the best motor ever made. The engine never got any better. Uh, than, than it is in this configuration right here. It also has a Honda racing cover on the ignition cover over here on this side. It has the, uh, the carbon fiber counter shaft, sprocket. counter shaft sprocket protector. It's got a twin air filter in there. Wizard went through, uh, put fresh VP racing fuel in here, brand new twin air filter, changed all the fluids, including the antifreeze, everything's brand new. Now these radiators, these are the original OEM Honda two-stroke radiators. They're not modified like you have to do on the four-strokes. I believe the conversion to two-stroke is better on a two-stroke chassis because you don't have to change the air box, you don't have to change the radiators. It's, it's more OEM equipment on there. It was upgraded with the AFAM sprocket in the gold DID chain. It has, of course, a matching Talon hub and Takasago XL rim on the back. And again, if you look at the date code on this tire right here, uh, it, you'll, you, side. you'll find that this is the original actual tire that, that AJ right mounted here. on this thing. Right so here. can See, you zoom in on there? Third week of 01. Third week of 01. Proof, more proof, this bike's got no time on it. Uh, it has a matching Pro Circuit 304 factory sound stainless series silencer. Uh, it's a, it has the Ricky Carmichael replica graphics on here, along with the Ricky Carmichael number four. four, four. These are the original graphics that the bike sh uh, had on it when it was new. It's as good as you're gonna find an AF anywhere on the planet. And to find one with AF, I mean, with the, uh, an AF with the, with the Olin gold kit suspension and a Pro Circuit Works pipe, well, good luck, they just don't exist. I don't, I don't know of another AF01 that's brand new like this one available anywhere in the world today. This, this is, could be the only one. What are your thoughts, Junior? You've ridden up and seen a lot of these AFs. And yeah, this is a total show bike. Uh, um, total show bike and replacement cost today to replace this bike today. Uh, I mean, AFs start at 20, 21,000? 21 for the base. I think base. you can speak to this a little actually, bit better, but actually, after all the upgrades. Uh, yeah, in fact, if you can get, actually you can't get an AF for 21 anymore because you'd have to buy a new 2021 and they're aren't anymore. In 2021, Honda made two CRF 450Rs. One of them was the old style frame and one was the new style frame. If you could find a new style frame 21, you can have it built for 21,000. But if you get the, the, the new style frame, which is the 22, how do I know this? Well, I have two of them on order with AJ right now with a $10,000 deposit on each, each of them. But the, uh, the new frame requires the shock to be replaced and, the, and he uses MX Tech it's a $2,800 shock. So you're looking at just under $24,000 for a new AF today. Uh, and it wouldn't have obviously the Olin suspension or the uh, pro circuit comb pipe. The titanium uh, pegs or titanium the pegs. $1,000 uh, triple tree set up. Yeah, they wouldn't have the pro circuit triple tree. The, the custom wheels with the talon hubs and the big billet spokes. Or the Ricky Carmichael graphics or the BBR uh, billet aluminum gas cap or, or the hour meter or to upgraded chains and sprockets. Stainless spokes rather, that they're not billet spokes. Stainless, stainless spokes, yep. Uh, just everywhere you look, there's, this, this thing's bristling with trickery from front to back. We thought about, you know, maybe putting some fresh tires on it, but that, I wanted to leave the original tires that it came out of the factory when it was built with, with the original date code, it's proof of the condition of the bike. The bike's brand new, it speaks for itself. But if you have any questions, 
give us a call, 860-454-7024. This one will not stick around. Uh, AJ's um, unable to meet the demand for, for bikes that are being built today. So to get a new 2022 AF, you'd have to give them a call yourself, but we put a deposit on our two over six months ago and uh, you know, landed with shipping. You're gonna be in, in the mid 20s. If you wanna trick one out like this, it's gonna be over 30, well over 30, depending on what you do. So. Good luck bidding on this one. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. It's just everywhere you look, it's got the pro circuit engraving on, on the lower triple clamp, the nice bronze uh, triple clamps. It's, it's as good as it gets and it handles amazing. Very little vibration for a 500 because, well, it's, it's got, it's all, everything's brand new. There's, there's, there's nothing, there's no wear anywhere on the bike. It's all, all original, ridden mostly on the tar up and around the pits with four, four hours on, 4.3 hours on it. It's as good as it gets. Thanks for watching and God bless America.